Good morning, welcome to BOTV HQ, Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, presenter here at BOTV. We are here to judge the dream car competition and the lifestyle competition running from May the 14th to May the 20th, 2018. Just before we continue, massive congratulations again to both of our winners last week. Uh, winning the car competition, Gareth Evans picking up a brand new Audi RS3. And in our lifestyle competition, uh, huge congratulations to Bill O'Toole who got £10,000 in cash. Now let me uh, pass over to Mark Rimmer from Onside Law who will oversee the proceedings today. Good morning, my name is Mark Rimmer from Onside Law and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. First, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors Wilkins Kennedy and now I'd like to introduce today's judges to ask them to pick a car out of the bag to determine their seating position. Uh, it's first up, Matt Cannon, please. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, my name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and active footballer. Yellow. Trevor Weaver. Good morning, I'm Trevor Weaver, been refereeing for over 30 years and I also mentor. And I have the white card. Aaron right, Duncan. Morning, Mark. Morning, Aaron. Good morning, uh, my name is Aaron Duncan. I've been involved in football for over 30 years. Firstly, as a player, then as a referee. Thank you. Orange. Aaron Gomer. Morning, Mark. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, my name is Alain Goma. I'm an ex-professional footballer. I played for Paris Saint-Germain, Newcastle and Fulham. Blue. Uh, Leo Donald. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Leo. Hello, my name is Leo Donald. I'm the next player. I haven't been with Chelsea, Fulham and Lake Norman. Thank you. Green. Last but not least, Hugh Gilroy. Good morning. Cheers. Hi, my name's Hugh Gilroy. I'm a referee, mentor, tutor, and observer. The last one is Red. Okay, judges, please could you uh, mark the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be? I'll ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. I'll then ask you to come to a panel decision on the central screen. Mine's a red cross, um, it's obviously two players in shot, um, either this player is slightly taller or he's slightly off the ground. I feel he's the one more likely to play the ball. Um, he hasn't started to jump yet, but I think he's looking in this general direction from his eyes. I um, found this player's eyes quite tricky because although his head's craned back and you can see it's kind of uh, wrinkled up with his neck, his eye looks as if it's looking in a bit of an odd position, so I took most of it from this player and him being in that general direction, and that's where I place my cross there. Great, thank you. Alain, same again, please. Yep. So mine is the, the blue cross, so we've got two players you know, challenging the ball. Um, I think the player in blue is, is more uh, waiting for the ball. Uh, player in green is, uh, is more like attacking the ball. Uh, I think the, the ball is in between the two players, so certainly on the right-hand side of this player, you can see you know, from his eyes, he's looking on his, on his right. Um, I think the, this player will head the ball and uh, you know is you know rightly uh, focused on the ball, uh, and uh, so I use basically the you know his uh, you know eye line to determine you know the that direction and I cross reference with the, the eye line of this player, and that's why I put my cross here. Right, thank you. Say again, please. Yeah, mine's a green cross. I'm a lot higher than everybody else. Um, the player in blue, I don't think he's going to. Uh, affect where the ball is. I think he's a little bit off balance. I think they're playing green. I think he's kind of getting set to jump. Um, so I, I believe the ball is above him and he's going to leap and attack the ball to head it away. So, so that's why I put my cross there. Great. Thanks, Dave. Matt, great to justify the position of your cross, please. If mine's the yellow cross, I'm the, at the bottom of this cluster of four. Um, again, I, I agree, the ball the ball's sort of in the foreground. Um, this player, I think he's going to be heading the ball or playing the ball. He's looking much more intent. He's got a stronger body position. This guy sort of, I think he's a bit off balance, as Leo said. Um, and I've cross-referenced their eyes uh, and I've put the yellow cross where I think the centre of the ball is. Thanks, Matt. Ari, same again, please. 
Uh, yes, my cross is the orange one over there. Um, I agree as well that the player in, in, in green and white is, uh, I feel that he's about to, to jump, he's looking uh, straight at the ball. Um, uh, this player, I agree as well, is, is a bit off balance. Um, I can see, we can see it from the corner of his eyes. Uh, he's trying to, to engage the ball as well. That's why I just cross referenced with both sidelines and then got my position. Sorry. Uh, say it again, please, Trevor. Yes, mine's the white cross. I basically agree with everything that's been said um, that this player in the green and white stripe, in my opinion, will win that ball. He's concentrated. He's, to me, he's directly looking up there, which is actually in the same line as Avi's, but I've gone slightly higher. And one of the reasons is this chap's eyes and the shape of his head. Um, so I'm slightly higher than these four, um, but say just cross reference in the eyes. I decide the centre of the ball will be there. Okay, judges, please. Did you come to a panel decision on the central screen? All right, well, we put a fair amount of agreement in the yeah, in, the in their cluster. Yeah. Um, do you? I mean, first, if you take it up from the centre of this red. Yeah, but if you take. We're going to yeah. take Leo and uh, Hugh on the, on the width into consideration. And also goes up the middle of the four of us. So sort of from there ish upwards. What does that look like from the back, guys? So you also. Yeah, that looks good. Almost straight point. through the, that red circle. Yeah. The bottom. So from the middle of that red circle, vertical line. Vertical line, yeah. Will give us. The east to west spread. Yeah, that's good. So that takes Hugh on the right and Leo on the left into consideration. Yeah. And the four of us all pretty. But that he. Um, can you can you make the yeah. 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 so look at Just his eye? Yeah. Is he just look at, looking oh, yes. in the corner of the eye. He doesn't give much this one. No. no. So. Well, I said before, I think if, if I think always the eye will stay parallel with it with your face. You know, so it's almost like a yeah, well, yeah. 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 Which is why yes. I'm a yeah. bit lower than everybody. But that would be. Is we. That's too high that for the too high, yeah. Yeah, too high for the medium. Right, it's just above that mm. blue in the background. Just yeah, we move it. Yeah. Yeah. That means Leo coming down a lot lower. Yeah, no, I do look. Yeah, I look like I've gone too high there, so looking at it again. So we're across from So we're going up there again. And now. Just get yeah, just the bridge off the. Yeah, just the top is that. Yeah. Oh, right. Across. So that's, we reckon, in the average of all our selection, do we? Is that too low? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you put the, the circle, you know, on the, on the, the ball, junction? Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Do you see, you know, it looks well for me. It's pretty good. I'm mm -hmm. happy with that. Seven two y coordinate eight one three. That's one zero seven two eight one three. These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to determine the winner of the uh, competition. They'll then inform best of the best. That concludes this morning's judging. Thank you all.